This is a light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation device, otherwise known as a laser. Lasers have been used in medicine for decades now and they're used for all different conditions. We use lasers to shrink and destroy tumors. They're good for kidney stones. We use them to take out the prostate, to fix detached retinas. They improve people's visions and it's used for back pain and neck pain too. Now, I don't use a laser in my everyday practice, but when I got my hands on the HD Cure handheld laser, we started using it immediately on my girlfriend's bunions. And we've had great results. Lasers work by focusing a beam of light at a specific wavelength, allowing us to specifically target a layer of cells in the body. Lasers have a sealing effect, so you can focus a laser on a free nerve ending that's been damaged by surgery, helping reduce pain. You can focus a laser on blood vessels, helping produce blood clots, and you can focus it on the lymphatic system, helping reduce swelling and also preventing tumor cells from spreading. Now, you already know that I don't recommend products that I don't personally use, and I only had to use this product for 30 days. We did several treatments on her big toe before I could recommend this to you. The HD Cure Laser has been extremely simple to use. It came with directions that are very easy to follow, and it's been effective. Click on the link below, check out the HD Cure Laser, do your research. This might be the right product for you. I recommend this laser. All right, so let's start off with some easy stuff. Do you have back pain, neck pain? Yes. What hurts uh, the up most? Up my shoulders up. Okay, That's shoulders up. Middle or right side? Um, usually right the most. Okay. Yeah. How often does it bother you? Every other day, every day. Every day? Mm -hmm. Pain every day for how long have you had pain every day for? Probably like nine years. What happened nine years ago? Oh, I've just had like 10 concussions. Mm -hmm. Been in three car accidents. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I used to be on muscle relaxers for a nerve. Okay, do you have any low back pain? Here and there, yes. Right about here. Okay. Plus, I grind my teeth pretty bad. Okay, do you have jaw pain? Not a lot. All right, tell me about your stomach issues. Uh, I have had stomach issues since I was about three, four. Okay. Um, my body just doesn't digest things very pain? well. Yeah. Bloating? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. bowel movements? Quick? All over the place. Oh, okay, random. Can be 12 days. So, so without. It, 12 days? Mm -hmm. It's not honest. And have you ever been diagnosed? Nope. With IBS? Nope. Okay, so that pre existed everything, though, before there was any yeah. pain, back pain, before there's any concussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, do you know the details of your birth? You know, if you were born natural or cesarean? Natural. Okay, do you know if there was any complications? Did you get stuck at all? Shoulder, vacuum, forceps? Mm -mm. Okay, do you know if you were breastfed? Yes. Okay. Um, what food sensitivities do you have? Dairy? Dairy. 100% I'm vegan. What about wheat? Uh, that's half and half. Maybe. I'm literally, I'm in the process of testing that now. So let's see what your spine says and then we'll go from there. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Looking at the feet first. Heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are symmetrical. I don't see any supination, no pronation. You like to spread your toes out a lot when you walk though. That's interesting. You're a ground gripper. Tree person. Okay, very good. A little bit of external rotation there when you stop paying attention to it on the left. All right, looking at the shoulders, we have a high right shoulder and uh, no no head tilt to speak of in this posture. Good, turn it the other way. Very good, high right shoulder on the back too. Can't tell the hips right now because the shirt is loose. We'll see that seated. Hip swing looks even from left to right, if not just a little bit more to the left, maybe possible restriction on the right. All right, I'm gonna touch the bottom of your feet, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, looking at the arches, you do like you're pronated a little bit more on this right and the left, that's fine. There's high left hip. Turn around and face the other way. Good, Achilles tendon straight away, no pronation, supination, bowing. Right. Okay, looking at the shoulder height, we're definitely higher on the left. There's no obvious or apparent curvatures here, pretty straight up and down. It looks very symmetrical. The muscle tone is even left to right. You have a little bit of this postural change right here from like, the looking down, you know, you have, it's not really a hump here, but as long as you're conscious of your posture, this won't get any worse. And then this is just mildly flattened right here. So this should come out just a little bit more, but overall a very symmetrical, very straightforward. We'll investigate what that possible pinch nerve was up here. Mm -hmm. I mean, like already, I feel like this. Yep. Okay. Good spot. Very much left sided here. The 
back of the hands, it's more sensitive to temperature changes. Good, nice and consistent moisture content, not ex no excessive dryness, no excessive moisture. And the temperature is very even from top to bottom and left to right. It just seems to cool off a little bit here at the lower left lumbar L5 S1 area. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit deeper into the muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like this guy right here that's sticking out. Mm -hmm. The muscles next to it are definitely angry. More tender on the right? Mm-hmm. Not too bad though. No, not, not like your shoulder. Yeah, all the tension just seems to increase as soon as we get past the shoulder blade. The rhomboid muscles here are very mm -hmm. tense. Okay, I won't poke it too much. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints down at the bottom, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, upper left SI joint. Any tenderness tension here? Mm, it's uncomfortable, but not really. Down here. Yeah, so lower, this is S4 at the very bottom. What about the right side? Mm, nah. Not as much. Right side here, upper SI. A little bit, yeah. Which one more? That right, that one on the right or this left? Mm. Or here? They're pretty even. Even, but the lower SI, S4 left, most tender. Good, good range of motion here. Nice and bouncy. Right here is where it starts to get stuck. stuck. We're at T8 and 9 here. This one right here. Okay, let's look for a trap point. Let's look for trigger points here in the rhomboid. Definitely tighter in the right side. This doesn't feel too hot right here. This is a rib head. Is that tender? Here, take a, take a deep breath in. Feel it when you breathe? Mm -hmm. Rib head there on the left. Good. Upper rhomboids are okay, but then as soon as we come up here to the levator scapula. Right. So this is muscular. So if you did have a pinch nerve, it was because soft tissue was pinching it, not because you had a disc here. But also, too, sometimes a, a really tense muscle can feel like a pinch nerve. Good. Back up. Down. Good, now let's go left ear to the shoulder. Good, not a lot of movement there. Right ear to the shoulder, more movement there. Is this tense? That hurts, yeah. Where does it hurt, right side or left? Yeah. Okay, that's muscle strain. There is just a little bit of edema over the C5 right there. Good, C5. Which is more tender, left, right? Or left, actually. Okay, go left, C5. C1, lateral mass, left, right, which is more tender. Right. Good. Looking, from, uh, looking from the glute fold at the bottom, you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, looking from the bottom or lower on the right, that means the right hip is going back like that, or the left hip forward. Okay, and then looking from the top, bring your feet as close together as possible. Good. Looking from the top where the left glute comes out just a little bit more, so that means that this might be externally rotated, or the right side is internally rotated, which matches your gait perfectly. Good. Okay. No rib humping here. No curvatures to the left or right. I do see the ribs a little bit more prominently here in the upper thoracic and more on the left. This uh, hump gets accentuated as well. Okay. You can stand back up. Okay. Looking for any it's just minor deviations in postural sway. Pretty steady, here comes to the front and back, just a little bit. Front, it kind of dives to the left, but it's mostly front and back, three times in a row there. Right short, stay short, that points to a left AS as the primary, not a right IN. Yeah, I'm gonna push down into your pelvis. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? Um, only 
the stomach. How about here? Yeah, stomach. Okay, L5. Okay, tenderness, discomfort here. Stomach. Here. Stomach. Okay. What about left versus right here? Right. Good. Okay, lift. Okay, down. Left lumbar. Did not fire there. Okay, let's do the left leg. Good, and down. Even the right lumbar lag there. So one more time, right. Good, down. Down. Okay, this is how we tell where to adjust the lumbar spine. Okay, which is more tender? Right. What about here? Right. Okay, so that would be a PRI on the right lumbar. Tender? Mm -hmm. Feels good, but yeah, it's tender. Okay, nice gentle breathing.
Okay, nice, gentle breathing. We're gonna do a stretch. Okay, let's practice one first. Nice and gentle breathing. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. I'm gonna follow your breath just like that. And then at the end of your breath, we're gonna give a little push like this, okay? Mm -hmm. It's already starting to give, that's good. Okay, let's start right in the middle. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Good, shoulders sinking in, that's very good. All right, you ready for this rib head now? This, this guy's serious. Good, I'm gonna follow that breath. Good, nice, gentle, follow that down. Good, same thing, deep breath in. Good, and out. This top leg here, good. I'm gonna scoot you forward to the end of the table like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull this back. Here. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up like this. I'm gonna stretch your hip down like this. This one's IN, so you've got to come out like this. We're gonna push down and out, okay? All right, nice, gentle breathing. Good, right from here. Good shoulders, good hips, good. A little bit more. Good. Good shoulders coming in this direction. Good, we're gonna bring this lumbar spine this way. Good shoulders, hips, good. And your back. Okay, right, short, good. Good, turn your head to the right. Back to center. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Good, one more time, turn to the left. Center. Right, center. Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center, left ear, center. Okay, we're gonna do some very gentle stretches here just to kind of open up your cervical spine, just like this, okay? Good, nice, gentle breathing.
Okay, so just the left side right here first. Feel that bubble right there? Mm -hmm. It's just like swelling outside of the joint. So, left side, I'm going to bring your head over to the side gently. I'm following your breath. We're just going to get the key to this is just to like let your head drop in. That's it. That's perfect. And then like your shoulders and your hips too. Just feel your whole body sinking into the table. And like just like the other adjustments, as you breathe out, we're just going to feed into it gently. And then we push like that from there, okay? Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Gentle breathing and sinking in. Very good, right there. Good, the head and neck and shoulders sink in. Okay, we're gonna dig into it just a little bit. That right yep, there. Yeah, it's a huge spot for me. Okay, nice gentle breathing. Same exact thing as the last time. We're just gonna bring your head over and push that way. Okay. Mhm. Mm six, five, right here. Okay, gentle breathing. Good. Good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna crack your toes now. Good, let this relax. Oh, man. There we go. Hold them together as hard as you can. Hold. Nice. And it starts off with the ileocecal valve. This is the valve between the large and the small intestine. Mm -hmm. We locate the valve first by finding your belly button. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I have a sensitive belly button. It's okay. Here? Your waistband's over it. Here? Yeah. Okay, then your ASI. Can you put your legs down, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, then the ASIS here, the front of the hip, we connect these two points. This is where we begin looking for the ileocecal valve. Does anyone ever look at your appendix? Nope. Nobody okay. listens to me. Nobody cares. Oh, man, don't say that. People care. Okay, so this is a little tender, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can definitely feel a little bit of, like, abdominal distension here. Um, yeah, you're, it's irritable in there. We don't have to name it irritable bowel syndrome. You already know that it's irritable. The key is, is to keep doing what you're doing. Well, obviously, you've taken care of yourself, and you've probably done a lot over the years. Diet restriction, lots of water, good. Mm -hmm. One of my supplements. Take a probiotic? Mm hmm. That's one of them, yeah. Okay, good. All right, so next is the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Good, this is two inches above the belly button. Here. Yep. Did you guys eat right before this? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm in the car. Okay, that's okay. It's just active right now. Uh, when you breathe in, push your belly out. Good. Now breathe out and suck your belly in. Good. In and out. Good. Keep breathing like that, but breathe a little quieter. Good. Nice and gentle. Let's bring your hands down to the... Good, deep breath in, and out. Good release there, a couple more, almost there.
You're doing great. Almost there. Right at the end of the colon here. It's taking his time. It's all that water. Mm -hmm. It'll pass. Keep breathing. Good, okay, gentle breathing, just like the other adjustments. We don't have to do it too much. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna bring this over like this. This helps me support your spine. Okay, we're breathing. As you breathe out, I'm gonna follow that breath like this, and then at the end, we pull like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try, deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, good, let your jaw relax. Oh. Yeah, that hurts. Your neck? No, my whole spine. My whole spine. Okay. Breathe. It dissipates quickly. Okay, sometimes it just takes a minute. The reason why it hurts is because your spine's never moved in that direction. Yep. Let's see, walk around a bit. Tell me how it feels. Still feel the pain? A little bit up in the near the shoulders. Okay, that's okay. Both sides equally? One side more than the other? Uh, both sides pretty equally. Okay, very good. Symmetrical is good. Right ear to shoulder, other side. Yeah, a little tension going to the right. Mm -hmm. What about the left? Mm, a little bit, but... That's good. So that's improved from before. What about look up? How's that feel? It feels good. Smooth. Good. Yeah, Blades back together. Good. And then look up at the ceiling. Good. Atlas here. Good. And then the right side, C5. Good. Thoracic spine. Push, hard you can, keep pushing. Good, relax. Right side, push. Good, good, relax. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. I'm gonna reach around the front and hold onto your elbow like this. Go lean forward a little bit more. Relax. Good, left side. Good, relax. Good, relax. And now you could crack ears.
Okay, we're breathing Good, gently. The head and neck and shoulders sink in. Hips. <laughs> 